Hello there, Ray here, and today I'd like to show you guys my simple trident farm. Tridents are a very strong weapon that can be used as melee or a ranged weapon, and you can get tridents by killing drowns, and this farm allows you to be able to kill them easily, and every drown that you kill will give you a 4% chance of dropping a trident. I updated my trident farm here so that it will work with some changes that they made. Now, zombies will no longer be able to easily be converted just by sitting in water. Instead, they will have to have water around their head level. Pretty much if you see the F3B, this little red line, they need to have water around that level to be able to be converted over into a drown. And they need to have water there for 30 seconds. So what I got going on here is that there is a mob spawner. You would find this spawner in your world, like in a cave. Then you just build this farm up near it. And what we got is the zombies being moved over into this water stream and moved over here. Then they will eventually push each other into this water column. These are bubble columns that are coming from the soul sand. And this allows them to be able to get lifted upwards because normally zombies won't be able to swim in water. They'll just sink to the bottom. So these bubble columns will launch them upwards and they continue going upwards till they get to the very top. Here we have no redstone but just some simple mechanics. We have a minecart which has a collision box which will kind of push the mobs over to the side. And we have another minecart which will kind of push them over to the edge. This is useful for later on. Now once the zombies do get pushed over, when a new zombie come up, this zombie will get pushed over here. And then he'll go into the still water over here, which will slowly pull him downwards. This will give him the 30 seconds that he needs to be underneath of water. Now once he reaches the bottom, he will be underneath water for 30 seconds. This will allow him to be able to be converted into a drown 15 seconds after that. So he'll drop down into this holding area and then convert over into a drown. Now you can see the zombies are coming down this water and they are shaking. This means that they will convert into a drown pretty soon, about 15 seconds. And shortly after hitting into this chamber, they will convert into a drown. And from here, the player can um, sit and with a sword that's decent, such as this one here, which is Smite 5, Unbreaking 3, Looting 3, uh, Sweeping Edge 3, as well as Mending. Most important is the Looting 3. This allow you to get a higher chance of getting a trident. You can sit in here and you can sweep at their feet and kill them. And then this will allow you to get a lot of different types of loot. So this is all the different types of loot that you can get from a drown. Pretty insane. So the Rotten Flesh is a common drop. Then most importantly is the Tridents. And there is about a 4% chance of getting a Trident with a Looting 3 Sword. You see a couple of Tridents in here. And you can also notice that there is some gold ingots. You can also get these with the Looting Sword. And there's even a chance of the Tridents being enchanted, which is pretty neat. And there's also a chance of getting Nautilus Shells. And those shells are used to make Conduit, which is used for Conduit Power. The cool thing about this farm is that when you convert the zombies over into drowns, any armor that the zombies are wearing has a 100% chance of dropping. So when the zombie comes down here and he converts into a drown, he's going to drop his armor no matter what. So it's like a 100% chance, which is awesome. And you can see tons of different armor sets inside of here. These are kind of cool because this means you have a chance of also getting diamond armor. Although I didn't see any diamond armor here, there is a rare chance that if a zombie is wearing armor, it could be diamond. So here you can also see that you can get gold as well as chain and iron and even leather. And the cool thing about this is that you also get fishing rods. And if you guys don't know, you can actually take fishing rods and put them into a furnace as fuel. And then you can actually put armor in the top. So you can use these fishing rods to smelt up all the armor pieces as well as the swords and the shovels into nuggets. So you can have gold nuggets or iron nuggets. And then if you have nine of those nuggets, you can convert it into an ingot. A mob spawner will produce around 500 mobs per hour. This will give you approximately 20 tridents per hour with this farm. A couple things to note with this farm is that here we used a cobble wall to lift up the mobs a little bit higher so they can transition from here over onto the um, bubble columns over here. We also have a solid block here in case a chicken jockey comes by then it can suffocate it. That way they don't interfere with the mobs getting moved into there. Now at the very top we also have a magma block to prevent uh, baby zombies from getting stuck up here. That way it'll kill them off. This cart here is to align the zombies with the backside over here. And this is because when the zombies get converted over into drowns, the new mob, the drown, which is summoned at the same location as a the zombie, then the zombie is removed. Sometimes it's offset a little bit from the actual mob location. So it's offset in the south east corner. So sometimes it can end up if the zombie was up against this wall, then the drown would be placed inside the wall. And to prevent that, we first align the zombie with the outset edge. This is very similar to what we did with our villager converter, where we would convert villagers over into zombies to get rare types for Halloween. If the zombies were converted into drowns inside this water stream here, then all their armor that they are holding would get dropped and then it would float up to the top, which makes it kind of hard to collect. So I just have it so that the zombies will first drop down, then convert over into a drowned. 
I really like this drop farm because of all the crazy stuff that you can collect just from a single type of farm. Like there are so much different items you can get from this. It's pretty insane. Now I did have a lot of fun building this up on stream. If you would like to come on and see me build these type of farms on stream, I will be streaming about around 9 p.m. Eastern time every single day. So be sure to swing by and join the stream if you can. I will be putting links down below to my Twitch and I will be sending announcements through my Twitter. So be sure to follow me on Twitter as well. An easy trident farm, as well as other great loot that comes from the drown. So if you guys found this interesting, show me with a like and share this with others. If you'd like to see more contraptions like this for the 1.13 snapshot, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell button. And tell me what you guys think about this farm down in the comments. Bye bye